Welcome to Leisha Today. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a personalized pin. So this pin I got off of Tamu, and it is on there. It's called a bamboo tin, a bamboo pin. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to do a quick tutorial on how to engrave a, a pin, then stay tuned. So the first thing I did was I set it on to my honeycomb and I just tried to make sure that it was parallel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my laser over it and I'm going to hit the distance button. This is going to measure the distance from the pin to the laser. Come to your X tool creative space and then you're going to do start marking. I'm going to choose this rectangle one. Okay, from here you're going to just mark the area of the pen that you want to engrave. So I think I'm going to want to do this area right here. So I'm just going to put that as my first mark. And then move down and put that as my second. Once you're back into X2 Creative Space, you'll see that the it made this rectangle from the marking. You're going to push in marking. And then you'll put whatever you want to put in this area. So I'm just going to put some text there. I'm going to put a name. So I'm going to put text. And then the way that you edit this text here is you go here to this text box and then you type in what you want to put. So I'm going to put... Okay, and then I'm going to set it for engraving. And then I'm going to change this for the typeface. This is where you change the font. So I like that one, Dancing Scripts. I'm going to use Dancing Script. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, move this closer, and I'm going to blow up the screen. So like zoom in, I should say. And then I'm going to put this text into the pen. So what I want to do is, like when I'm holding the text, think about, I mean holding the text. When you're holding the pen, think about how you want that to show up when you're writing. Um, and then you just size it down until it fits in there the way you like. So another thing I want to do is I'm going to go up here to the materials and set a material that I think might work best for this so i'm gonna go to more and see do they have something that's similar so they have like plywood um wood coaster let's see craft paper stone coaster scratch paper i think what i'll do is i'm gonna try this basswood or basswood I'm gonna try that and see how the settings work for this one so I'm just gonna leave it on this I'm gonna push process and start and of course I'm gonna make sure I close my lid so I'm gonna close my lid I'm gonna confirm I close it and I'm gonna push process again and start and then I'm gonna hit the Button on the S1. Okay. So that took 17 seconds. And this is just based off of the settings that were for the basswood. So you can play around with this as well. Like you can 
do your settings to where like if you didn't like this you can engrave it one more time let's see if i pick this up out of here so you guys can see it better if you don't like how light it looks or if you want it darker you can engrave over it one more time or if you like it then you can just do it that way and you can play around with your settings but i think that's pretty cute it looks dark enough to me so there you go you can see how easy it is to just um put it straight onto your s1 mark it up put your text on it and then boom it takes 17 seconds thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe stay blessed take care